Hey everyone, there are many different ways to do wire management. That's a critical role of the installer and there's many techniques to do it. In our lesson, when we're talking about mounting modules on top of optimizers, which are a convenient flat plate up there at the array, we just give a simple technique of tying the module wires into a loose knot because that's going to concentrate them in one area and they're just going to lay very nicely and unrestricted unpinched right on top of your optimizer. There are other ways of controlling your wires and a lot of people like to use wire clips, S clips. So I want to talk about that for a, a minute but I specifically want to call out different designs and the fact that you have to be careful about the different wire sizes that you might be using. Here's an example right of how that typically is done where <clears throat> the wire is clipped up using S clips up on the module frame prepared typically on the ground and that's a nice way to do your wire management. If we zoom in a bit here, you can take a look at that clip. The idea is that you push the wires up inside the clip, uh, you, you fasten the clip onto the module frame and then push the wires up into the clip and it holds the wires up off the roofing, that's right. And sometimes you may want to actually put in two wires like we see here where in order to shorten up the wire you wrap it a couple of times and you push it all up into one clip. That's a common way to do and that's that's a good idea but I really want to be cautious here about the type of clip that you choose and based on the type of wire and whether you're going to do a single or a double. Let's take a look at this for a minute. If you look carefully at the clip, this is a typical design uh, and typically these are called S clips because they're shaped like an S and they've got these barbs right here. There's some sort of barb structure that allows it to grab onto your module frame and hold on tight and then your wires are going to slip inside here. But you got to be careful about how smooth it is, how strong it is, and whether it's really going to hold your wires uh, for a long, long time. That's what you want to have happen. Uh, I want to specifically talk about different types of wires, USE versus solar wire. Here we have an example of uh, USE-2 wire, outdoor rated, UV resistant wire. It can be used in uh, wiring up your solar uh, modules. And then down below is the thicker solar wire, which is now commonly used by most folks, but according to the, the latest NEC code, you can use both in making your jumpers and wiring up your arrays. So uh, you got to be careful though, because if your clip is designed to hold USE-2 type diameters, and then you try and cram in a solar wire into that same clip, it's not going to hold it as well. It's going to open up too wide, and it may eventually let go of that wire. So I want to show that kind of difference that the solar wire is much thicker and you got to choose clips that are specifically designed to hold that big diameter of solar wire. Uh, here's an example and I, I really like this clip. Now there's many different choices of clips and a lot of them are good. You may have your own preference but I really like this one from Wiley Electronics. A lot of people uh, brand this product, call it their own, but it comes from Wiley. Uh, he gives it its dorky name of Acme Clip. I would think of something better myself, actually, but he calls it the Acme Cable Clip. The point here is that he specifically calls out for PV wire. There's a size that doesn't say this, and there's a size that does say PV wire. And that's because the diameter that's built into the clip is much bigger, big enough to hold uh, solar wire quite nicely. There's a smaller clip down here, can nicely clip onto USC dash two or you could slip in two solar wires and it would still grab it. I also want to show besides the the barb structure that he has here that he's got these nice bends that go down like that and other clips do that as well. I want to point that out because instead of being that smooth design that was like this that showed uh, you know just just had a smooth edge like that you got these types that are with their own dip that can actually hold the wire a bit more tightly and that's real important if you're going to be thinking about two wires and even just one it's a much more secure way to hold that wire so I want you to know that you specifically want to go for clips that are designed for PV wire if that's what you're using. You can take a look at another one here just another design this one's from Heiko but it shows the same thing there's the strong barbs to clip in but the idea is that it's got a, a nice double dip here to tightly hold two wires and it's got this huge diameter up here to be able to accommodate your big solar wire. So I just wanted to point that out that for those that like to use uh, clips for doing up your wire it's fine it's an excellent technique but make sure that you've chosen your clip carefully to hold the number of wires that you plan to do and that it can hold your large solar wire for you.
Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.